because if you look at our side fills, they're not side fills. I saw that and I go, oh, that's Apollo and Thunder <laughs> thing. You know, let's put a line array up for side fills. Well, the, the, the line array on side fills, it, it's a fantastic idea, but then our, they're not really side fills if you look at it. They're, they're front fills that front are just yeah, on stage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're front fills that are on stage. Well, I the, call them the windbreakers. The windbreakers. <laughs> in, in a room like this, I imagine. You know, that's got to be blended into the overall sound of the system. The, the system is delayed to the side fill. The system is delayed to the side the system fill. Is, I take a measurement of the side fill, and I bring the whole PA back in line and in phase with the side fill. And it actually helps out, because we don't have anything on the downstage edge. So right. front fill is actually would be is set up, if I bring it, it's set up as an infill. Right. So anything downstage center is filled, and what's in the side fills now is pretty much kick and vocal. Oh, really? So it's just a fill. It works out fantastic. Okay. Um, and, 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 well, Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there more in this I feel to kick a vocal? Well, um, stage right, you have guitar in there. Stage left, you have some bass. Uh, you have a little bit of the brass is in stage right, the strings are in stage left, just to try and bend the image a little bit right. on stage so everybody's comfortable with what they're hearing. But uh, it's predominantly a vocal kick drum scenario. Okay. Percentage wise, it's 100% vocal and kick drum, and then everything else is like to compensate 30 to 50 percent. Okay. Shade. Okay. Well, there's the laser of guitar <laughs> stage left coming out of the laser guitar. Of guitar. The laser <laughs> to of bass stage there's the laser of bass coming stage right. <laughs> kind of spread that out a little bit. Um, it's interesting to me. I mean, there's obviously a lot of variables in a show where you've got an orchestra like this and everything, and it's only a month long tour. It's almost like just as you're hitting your stride and you've got it down, they're going to be done. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, just as the gig becomes comfortable. Uh, have any of you ever worked with the band before on previous tours? First time out, huh? I, I have to admit, um, when Deep Purple was really popular, I was being bored. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, great. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. I was, I was in high school. Okay? No, that was Smoke on the Water is the first song I learned on guitar. What, you know what? You went about a million ever. My dad asked me who you're going out with, and I just did the riff, and he said, oh yeah, you played that for hours and hours, hours and hours and hours, hours, right? hours in the room. <laughs> we wonder why the parents of the world hate that song so much, because we all played it. You yep. know? We're trying to figure out if that's the first thing trumpet players like. <laughs> After rehearsals every day, we're like, is that the first thing trumpet players learn? Smoke in the water? I think what it is is the classical musicians in the orchestra secretly at home, they would never admit it, but they play metal on their instruments. You know, they they hide in their bedroom so they, they play metal, and then they go back to the Brahms that they do for a living. <laughs> I see a lot of, lot of them admit it to me being fat. Well, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, even you, when you can tell the fan in the orchestra, because they're up there like, yeah. <laughs> right. Now the people that are, have, don't want anything to do with their smells stiff. Yeah. Like, there'll be a couple up there that are up there grooving. Yeah.